Hello, hello, YouTube. Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well. I just got started with a new Terraria playthrough with my server subscribers, an Armored Core playthrough, and I'll have a new Outward playthrough out here soon. I'd assume many of you guys are actually playing Starfield, however, how is that going for you guys? Are you guys waiting on bugs or mods, or did you just dive straight in? Anywho, today we're taking a look at Hain's mod, the Adventurer's Guild. A small lore friendly way to recruit as many NPC types as you want. It has some quirks I'm working on ironing out myself in Genesis before I overhaul the entire mod for Haynes so he can update his mod. If you guys have any suggestions for the next mod Monday, let me know. Don't intend to do any overhauls for a while as they would take insanely long to play through accurately and research. But other than that, you can leave a comment down below. As always, footage of the mod and a temporary playthrough will be in the background. This mod is incredibly simple and yet incredibly good to have around for vanilla style player. Adventures Guild adds two new locations and edits or adds to a handful of others through relations and bar squads. We'll go over both of these changes and explain how the mod is meant to work, some potential bugs and downsides. Please do bear in mind, again, these videos are highlights as reviewed, so there is some information I'm purposely leaving out when it comes to additions, such as new town additions and their squads in their entirety, i.e. I won't be going through everything in the new town. I'd like to leave that up to the players to find out because I know too much information can be a little overwhelming. Starting off, let's start with the simple stuff. There is one new faction. Do you guys like to guess what the new faction is? You've not answered my question. Time to get the map. I'm the map! 1-6 Crescent Road. That's where you live, right? Swiper, I don't have your time right now. You're too late! If you don't want to end up like Swiper over there, I suggest you answer my question. Louder! That's right, the Adventures Guild. You guys get a gold star. Now, as for faction changers, you can also ignore Dora. She really doesn't know where you live. Now, as for faction changes, they're only positive relation changes. So the following factions won't attack the Adventures Guild randomly. Doesn't mean they won't attack them, but it should prevent most issues. These are the factions. Anti-Slavery, Shek Kingdom, Slave Traders, the Holy Nation, Traders Guild, the Western High. Oddly enough, not the United Cities. Following up with these changes, we have Town Changes, which just add bar squad. So again, a low impact to your world. We'll list these alphabetic. Bad Mag, Bad Tea, Bark, Katun, Clown Steady, Drifter's Last, Heft, Hang, Shark, Shobatai, Squin, Stack, Stoat, The Hub, and World Zen. All of these towns I just listed have a new bar squad added to them that adds in the Adventures Guild head. This guy is where you will find your recruitment campaigns and will be able to request the campaigns to your base. Following this, we have two new town additions, which you have likely seen or will see highlighted throughout the video in the back. You have the town of Ishiku and the town of Shirio. Ishiku is located in the border zone east of the hub, which arguably can make the border zone a bit crowded with this mod enabled, but the town is very small. It's pretty much a home to a bar and some barracks. Shirioko, on the other hand, is northeast in the southern tip of Sinku. Featuring the faction throne and its leader, it also has a bar and a small robotics workshop. So worth a visit if traveling through, but not much in staying power beyond the secondary way station in the region. The way the mod works is like this. You find a headhunter in a bar in the previously listed cities. You pay for the recruits you want sent to you. Do not try and get two campaigns at once. It will bug out. It's not a fault of the mod, but rather than just a Kenshi limitation. Then you wait for the recruits to appear at your base. As a secondary note, the way the campaigns work is rather simple, but this also makes certain things tedious. Campaigns almost always spawn from a faction-owned town. In this case, there are only two towns, meaning if you are based far away from those towns, the campaigns will have to travel that far. It is highly recommended to make a forward base closer to one of the towns. It only needs to have one person there to receive the recruits. As you can see on the screen now, the process is simple. Once the delivery arrives, you can ignore the guy speaking, and I would recommend you do, and just talk to the recruits and recruit whatever you want from the squad. Now in Genesis, you have extra options here. The RLBS skeletons, and there's also much more hive and skeleton variations. So that was the Adventures Guild by Hain. Thank you everyone for watching this. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you guys like the video, leave a like, and if you want more content like this, 
or to follow Genesis progress or even just watch some other content, feel free to subscribe. Music as always is by Carl Schmidt, a fantastic artist who does Kenshi, Warhammer, and other thematic music scores. If you like the background music throughout the video, go leave a like and sub to his content. The links to his music are linked in the description. And of course, I'd be remiss not to invite you all to my Gilded server. The TLDR is, it's Discord, but everything is free. I'm Atlas, I'm a Gilded partner, and I am out.